Okay crew, today's video is going to be about how to make a jungle tune from scratch. We are going to start off uh, with Re Steinberg, Steinberg's Recycle. Um, I'm going to get in there. Um, i am actually got that open at the moment. Um, I'm on the Mac, so you can get it for the PC as well. Um, Steinberg Recycle? Propeller Heads Recycle, sorry. So here we have um, my sound library. So let's go into the sound library and find a break. Okay, so let that load up. Okay, so jungle breaks. Uh, should we do jungle breaks or should we really start from scratch? Let's have a look. So we're going to flick through some of these sounds here. Okay, so these are already pre-programmed breaks. So we're going to do something a little bit more tricky this time. So let's see what else we can do. do, 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 do there. Let's see. Uh, all amens. Wow. Okay. Okay. So here's an amen, right? Stacks of amens. Stacks of amens. Yeah. Okay. So let's get this NWA amen out, right? This is an amen from Scratchos, right? So we're going to load that into Recycle. We open up Recycle. We're going to turn the sensitivity up. Do, 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 do. I haven't done this in a little while. So here we go. Put that up there. And press Preview. How many bars? We're going to put, say, two in there for now. Press Play. Okay. So what we're looking for now is we're going to chop this up into little segments. Each one of these transients here are um, basically going to be is going to be a cut. So let's get that. Delete that slice there. Delete that slice there. Delete that slice. Let's have a look. Here. Play that. Click on it. Right, can you hear the way that goes? Two sounds. Bop, bop. We're going to put get the pencil and we're going to just going to make split that into two. So you can see it goes get and then it goes oh we're going to wet that art bit and we're going to put that there. Alright, so we got like that boom. Okay, so cool. So we've chopped that up in all, into all the divisions that you can do. Uh, and then do, 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 we are going to press play. And then there's something that we have to do now, which turns this into do, 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 into a loop to test out. Now, if I remember likely, crap, I should have tested this out before I started a tutorial, but never mind. Okay, so okay, so it's already so it's already in operation. I didn't have to do anything apart from that. It was I think it was the preview button that I was looking for to press play. So okay, so basically we press the preview button. And then we set our BPM up, and the, the idea is that you can speed it up, slow it down, and it shouldn't sound weird. Apart from the fact that it is actually too slow now. Okay, so we got it at that speed, yeah? And then it, it can go faster and faster and faster. Okay, let's have a look at this. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So if we put that at now at 175, which is about right for a jungle tune. It doesn't sound right. It sounds still sounds like it's going slow. So let's try taking a picture. Okay, bring it back down. <laughs> okay, so I think what's going on that is we have got that at two bars. Let's take it to one bar. There you have it, jungle is in the building. We can turn the gain up here. Not too much because you don't want it distorted. You can mess with the transients, make it sound more snappy. But you can do that later as well. Like, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you put this little stretch on here. Now, this little stretch... If I turn that down, can you hear how it's going? Well, the stretch kind of helps to stop that. 
Yeah, how smooth that sounds now. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to put tempo back up again. Turn down the stretch, let's see what happens. Not much difference there. So the stretch is great for when you are doing slower rhythms. Decay. Give you kind of a gate feel. Gate. Attack is kind of like the front end of the uh, preset. So you can experiment with your beats basically in here. You can even give it a bit of EQ. But again, you can do all that later on. So anyway, we've done that. Sounds a bit fishy. Let's kind of tweak around with it a bit. Yeah, I think without that stretch, because of the speed that we're going to put it at. So that works out cool, yeah? Okay, so that's the first stage. The next stage is we save it. Now, you're going to save this to your sampler instruments folder if we're going to use Logic. Um, if we're going to use Cubase, you would put it in a folder where all your breaks are. I've got an old school breaks folder, which is in my sampler instruments folder. So I'm going to call that my NWA Amen. Go to here. Save that. Into Logic Pro. Now, if you want to know where your sampler instruments folder is, uh, you could also, you could just go in the spotlight, sampler instruments. And then you'll see your sampler instruments folder comes up. I guess it would be your logic folder in your logic folder. I've got a, a, a video anyway um, that shows you where to find it. No, this is not it. So you would have to go to probably your main drive on your Mac. Uh, do, 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 10.5. Then scroll to your library. Audio. I think it's audio. Or is it application support? Uh, let me see. No, that's not the one. <coughs> Excuse me. So you would go to application, is it applications? No, you want application support. Hold on, that, get out of there. Right, L L library, application support, that's it. Logic, it's been a while since I've been in here. Sampler instruments, there. Now, if you look here, you see I've got all my sampler instruments put in there and there should be a factory folder somewhere here. So, ah, sound font library. Where is it? It's not here, is it? D -d 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 sample instruments. What's this? No. D -d -d -d. I'm giving it the expert, but yeah, it's can't find a can't find a folder. But I've done a tutorial about this. Uh, oh, hold on. What's this? This is the sound font lib. This is really odd. Old school. Old school. Old school library. Where is he? Old school library. Oh no, come on guys. Come on dude. Where is it? Alright, let's try users. There we go. Oh, now you know my name. Users. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Crap. Okay, applications. No, I have lost where my logic folder is. I know where exactly where it, I'm going to tell you exactly where it is now. Hold on. Let me go to here. I've got a shortcut that I made earlier on my desktop. It's going to save messing about. Apple I, and that is the location. Okay, users, your name. No, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah, original users. Your name, library, application support, logic, samplers. Yeah, so users, let's navigate from that. So it's going to be in your users. There you go. Your name, I was getting close. Desk, no, ah, no, it's not that one. 
tier. Right, Brian Johnson. Yeah, there you go. S library. Library. Okay, so miles off. So users, Brian Johnson, library, which I can't find on my Mac OS. Users, Brian Johnson. Library? Library. Anyway, that's where it is on yours. Yeah? So that's where you got to look. I'm sure I did a video on this earlier. So this is about making jungle. So let's get back to making jungle. So anyway, so I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to track, new track instrument, new software instrument track. And I'm going to call up, get rid of all these cordy things here, because what they do is they tend to make double keys play and stuff. It's great if you're playing keyboards, but you don't want it to be um, making all these effects and stuff we, we just want it dry to begin with so these are all the buses and the effects so switch all these off for now and then go to here go to exs24 exs24 there we go and then we will then um if you've already had logic open then it's not going to work straight away you've got to refresh your um your library now it's been a while since i did that too i've been oh you know what it is i've been working in renoise so much here uh, that it's making me forget the powers of the dark side right hold on get rid of that oh, here we go spinning ball we don't like the spinning ball here right so ah refresh menu Doo -doo. right so we click that now what that does is it goes on on the mission now and it checks your whole sound library it updates it all and says right okay any new samples are found they're here now we've got to look for this old school folder there we go old school breaks and cameras in a way can't see we want the amen nwa amen so you see it says rx2 file so now what happens we click on that it opens up and then it asks us this velo velocity factor which you leave on zero and what this is doing there is it's creating a MIDI region. See, you you you, you teach once and you learn twice because I've never read that. But basically, you just press OK here. And you, if you look here, um, it's now brought in the MIDI file, which is the notes that make up the cuts. It's kind of like the jigsaw puzzle of all of your samples, which are now cut up from recycle so now you get your sequencer you go to 170 double click here that's the tempo 170 and you press play and there we have our amen loop running smooth right so we could use it like that yeah but also the cool thing is let's keep it like that we're going to press apple and d Right, I'm going to speed this up now because these video files, they take up gigs, man. So, we're going to mute that for a second. I'm pressing... Oh, no. Right, click there, mute. Yeah, so there's a shortcut key for everything here. Apparently, that's uh, 8. So, I guess that's... If I press number 8... No, that wouldn't work. Okay, forget that. <laughs> Bad idea. Right, so here we go. So, I've got that. Next, I'm going to get the pencil tool. I'm going to draw an empty box. And if you look on the keys, let's get the octave right. I've got now got all the cuts, which means I can do stuff like this. So let's press, press play. Move that out of the way. Put the old metronome on. Which is... There you go. So, we've got the, the loop plane. We've got the loop plane. And now, we want to record. So, to record, we're going to press the R button. And if you look up here, it comes on. Then I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise pressing the R button again. To get rid of the uh, record after that, you'd press Enter. But press Enter on your keypad. 
so here we go okay so we're going to press the R button and that will give us a, oh there's a pre what you call a pre-roll counting so you press the R button and you get that one two three four go again one two three four go right so here we go so okay so as you see that's been recorded double click the part we go into it and down here we've got what you call the piano roll okay so we then go to here if you look here you'll see that you have um, uh, quantize and quantize what quantize does is if you play something slightly out of time it will bring it back in time for you but depending on how you set the quantize so the lower the quantize, the, how can I say it? The more sensitive and more sort of faster rhythms you can play. The higher the quantize, the simpler the beat, if that makes sense. So basically, I would now hit, so something like this, boom, boom, right? Uh, which is on each line. Now I'm assuming that the, the people at home watching this, I know there's advanced users as well. Um, that would like to gain, possibly like to gain from these tutorials as well. Um, you know, any tutorial I watch, I learn. But at the same time, I'm trying to help the beginner and inspire people to use different programs. So anyway, the quantize is here. So we hit the Q button or this button here. And you can see, like, as I press the Q, they all sort of nudge forwards onto the line. Okay, so now... From here, I would get my tool, pencil tool. And then I would see what parts I want to use. Now, on the Amen, you've got a little, like a ride hat. And you've got a little shuffle. Those are the really cool parts of the Amen. And then you've got a few different snares. Sort of, if you play them one after the other, it gives you a little, little, little feel. You can do a drum roll with stuff like that, right? So, just letting you know the parts of the drums that are useful, right? So, I'm going to just make that like that. Going to delete that. Bring this along here. I guess this this video is going to be for an absolute beginner. Now, you can hear on this um, hat hi-hat ride whatever it's got a little bit of fudge from the bass drum right so that wouldn't make a suitable hat for a, your own unique pattern right so i would move it up to one that's a little 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 little, little, little a little less uh trebly right like that one yeah and then we'll probably end up separating those and put them on separate tracks later but that that's another story right so we're gonna copy that across and we're going to make these into like double squares one two three four five six seven chuck this over here chuck this over here chuck this over here boom 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 this is the absolute beginner's guide now to laying down your own beat no more loops well not no more loops but no loops just your own little flavor so we got this little point we don't want that every single hit so let's find another kick drum. Okay. And we got this little get up. So let's see what we got. So. Okay, so we've gone to. Uh, do, do, do. So if I select that note there, it's like it highlights all the notes, right? So you can just grab a move up. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so here we go. So I press play. Right, get a snare. So now we've got the basics now. We're kind of off the ground now. So that sounds cool. Let's keep it simple. Simplicity is the key here now. Don't confuse yourself just yet. Okay, so that's sounding pretty cool. 
Now, I'll, the mic sounds kind of loud. I just hope that it's not affecting the tutorial. Let me just see what's going down here, dudes. So, let's see, let's see. Ah, no, that's not it. Right, I think we're okay. Yeah, turn the music up a bit. There you go. I think the balance is a bit better on that now. So back to logic, logicos, logical, lodge. Yeah, back to logic. Okay. So I can hear a lot of a lot of rumbling going on there. Yeah. So let's try and just separate that up a bit. And also, before we do that, let's do some. Should we do some shuffles? Let's do a bit of programming first. Then we'll clean it up. Okay, so here, let's grab the shuffle there, shorten this, we're going to just highlight these, shorten them, grab this here, okay, let's see, yeah, that's quite cool, that's quite cool, let me see something, so that's like a C, E, F, there's a better shuffle up here, I think, yeah, okay, so move this up, yeah, okay, so, Oh, that's a clean one, that one. Clean up. Yeah. Nope. Wait a minute. Silly sod. Yeah. I'm feeling that. So now we can get rid of the metronome. We've got a rhythm. Don't mind if I do. Okay, cool. Okay, so now let's separate that up a bit. Hold Apple and D, duplicate. Uh, all these are on the menus. Du -du 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 duplicate track. Okay, so let's go to here. Let's copy the same thing now. And what we're going to do is on this one, we're going to call it the kick and the snare. This one, we're going to call the shakers. I think my GoPro has stopped recording. No, it hasn't. Sorry about this. Whoop. All right. So, shakers. Okay. So, so on this one now, we are going to delete out the kicks and the snares. What's this? Yeah. And on this one, we are going to delete out the hats. Oops. The hats. The kick, snares, and this one is the hats. I can hear people saying, I can imagine people saying, that's the hats, that's the hats. Cool. Yeah, okay, you're right, that's the hats. So now, on here, we should have... Okay, still some. That's a kick in the snare. Yep, that's the hat. So now we go to the EQ. Double click here. We can open up our EQ and we can switch it on. And then we can roll out. Hold on a minute. Hold on, something fishy going on here, mate. Oh, here's the EQ. So what's this then? Hold on, that's the kick snare. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm on the wrong track here. So something's wrong. Right. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Right, so uh, switch on. There's also analyzer, so you can see what you're doing if you click that on. And we just roll that off a bit here. Sharpen up a bit on the 10k. Uh, change the frequency. Uh, how do we do this now? Logic, logicos, logicos, logical. Where is that band? Okay, I think it's saying to do this. Shelf, bell. Where's a bell? Is that a bell? Okay, bell, no. Where is it? Come on, dude. Cue couple processing. Oh, I forgot how to do this now. 
question mark. Q. This must be this must be the Q. But where's the type? Okay, what's this now? Alright, we're getting there. That's the Q, but where is the type of shelf? That's what we want. Ah, what's this? Damn, has this even got it? This is the built-in Logic Pro EQ. Okay, I might just go for the Pro Q, man. Yeah, 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 I'm going to come back to this one and we're going to nail this one in another vid. Because it's going to take me forever to figure this out. Hold on. No, that's sublimants. 6K, 7K sublimants. You don't want that. That hurt your ears in a club. Okay, so that's low shelf. What's this here? That's flattened. If I double click that. Ah, here we go. This is what I want. Okay, so we got a little bit of boost. Never, I don't really want to boost more than about 5k. 5, sorry, 5 decibels. So bring that up to about 5. Give you a little bit of a lift. You don't need all this crap down here. It's a hat. So let's get this this cut here and bring it along. Hey! But then we want the shuffly bit, coming to think of it. So that is the little shuffly bit we got. Let's see what that sounds like now. So, see, listen to our hats now. So now it makes sense to now separate the foot and the snare. So we're going to duplicate that again. We're going to call that the kick. So there you have your kick. There you have your snare. Copy that down there. Then go to here. Let's try and make this a little bit more interesting now. So this is the kicks. Go there. Get rid of that. Go there. Get rid of that. Snare. Come to here. Get rid of the kick. Get rid of that. We got a little shuffle thing going on there. What's this? See you later. And now we can put a bit of reverb on our snare. We can sharpen it up. Turn this off a minute and then see this flatten it out. Analyzer. There you go. There's our snare. So snare. I've got a little EQ tips booklet. If you join my mailing list, uh, you'll get that and you can download that. Um, let's get that up now and see what, what it what the old EQ tips is saying. Uh, where the hell is it? I think we're gonna have to come out of this screen to do that. I've got the dual screen but it's not showing. So, let's come out of the full screen mode a minute. Chuck that out of the way for a second. And open up EQ Tips. Oh, forget EQ Tips, it won't open now. Open with Adobe Acrobat. No, okay, forget that. Skip. Go away, right, okay. Okay, so here we go. Put a little reverb on the snare. Tiny bit. Switch that on. Okay, so now, kick drums, sharpen them up. Analyzer, boom. Kick drums, 100. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Right, now we're getting dark. We're starting to sound good. Right? And then we want that little, that little get up. Okay, clean it up a bit. Quantize, Q. Okay, now we're starting to stand up. We're starting to stand up. Golden rule, folks. Always save your music. You get all this stuff going on. Next thing you know, it crashes. You've been working for an hour. Boom, you lost everything. One time, 
Uh, I remember the guys were working downstairs in the old studio back in the day. Um, and they were working till about five in the morning. And then I went to sleep. And I came down and I and like I said uh, said to the guys, how's it going? Everyone's sitting there looking at me like this. I said, what's the matter? They goes, the computer crashed. I said, did you save it? They went, we forgot. So they lost the whole night's work. Save like it's a bad habit, yeah? Then you don't lose no work. Save version one, two, three. If you change the song, you're not sure. If you're sitting there, instead of umming and ah and what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Save as another number, right? So we're going to call this YouTube Beat, yeah? This is our YouTube Beat, yeah? Okay, so grab that. Hit the highlight. Hit the Apple, uh, sorry, Alt key. Copy that over. Loop it. Okay, so now we're going to call up another software instrument. Now, if you're feeling lazy, you can't be asked to click create. Just go... Apple D again, and then get rid of the EQ because the EQ is going to just confuse things because we want to hear what this, what's going on with the sound. So we've got a beat, a little beat laid down. It's nothing fancy. Let's find some other bits and pieces to go with the beat. So I'm going to go into my library now. Now, obviously, once you built up all your sounds in your library, and it's like mine, you're going to have like you know all your bits and pieces all laid out the way you want it, right? So you just get everything sounding the way you like it. Um, and you can just search for what you want. So now I'm going to just do a search, find shaker. S H A K E R shaker. Click here, go like that. Bosch, bush, bosch, liquid. What's this? Shakers, right? So click on that. And then, okay, nice little shaker. Press play. Okay, quantize him. Lovely jubbly. Okay, bit sharp, turn him down a bit. Pan him a little bit to the left. Okay. So now we're going to copy that over. We're going to drop that there like that. Now we need sound for the intro, yeah? So this is going to be a little introduction. So we can just write as we go along. We can lay down a load of stuff. We can do it however we want, yeah? It's our tune, remember, yeah? Do you know what? I'm not sure about this reverb. Turn it down a bit. Yeah, I'm liking that better. Okay, so now let, let, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's, let's, uh, do, 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 do. let's get a kick drum. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go shakers. I'm going to go into there. I'm going to type 808. 808. That is a nice piece of drum kit. Right, so now assuming that everyone knows what they're doing, what we're doing, how we're laying it down, we're now kind of like at the semi beginners stage now, right? Take that up an octave. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so you can see the camera's falling down, right? So I'm going to switch over to one of my MIDI keyboards that sit that's, uh, here. And uh, bear with me. Okay, let's quantize that up again. So grab, grab that, quantize. There we go. Why? 
say late night phone ringing, cha. Loud up. I'm in. I'm in the mix, man. All right, so. Nice little shuffle there, look. Steppers tune, steppers. Okay, see how it went? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, the note was a bit short, so we're going to tidy that up a bit now. Do, 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 do. There we go. So this is, a, this is my classic 808 kick that I've been using for years and years and years. It's, uh, it's probably had a little bit of process on it. Okay, so there we go. So pop that on there. And then, okay, so we're going to open up the EXS24 and we're going to use the release to give it a little, the bass a little bit more uh, release. Let me just switch on another keyboard here because that keyboard is rocking up the camera, man. And, uh, you know, let's have a look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, it appears that the, I think the camera stopped recording. I'm not sure. There we go. Oh, I hope I haven't lost anything on the video, man. Okay. Yes, please. Can I have some? Oh dear. I've got some lag. Okay, let's try getting rid of that. Live troubleshooting. Come on. You've got to work. You've got to work. Let me see. Okay, people. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've, it's probably this video is probably not long enough to upload to YouTube. So, I mean, it's probably too long for YouTube. So, I am going to save this up, um, and I'm going to continue it again. So, if you like, guys, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Yeah, because I want to continue this series. And if you like the videos that you watch, just thumbs them up. Just let me know that I'm doing something right. Yeah. And then I'll be able to carry on with the videos. Um, don't forget, um, if you like what you've seen so far and want to see more, uh, please subscribe. I think I've said that already. And um, visit my website, www.samploids.co.uk, where I've got a few sample packs for you to download. I've got my choppage sample pack. I'll put that in the links. Peace and love and respect people for showing support. Out.